All right, so one thing that comes up a fair amount on Pegasus projects uh, that I get asked is, what do I do if I want to change something in my configuration? And so as an example, like um, for this Slack archive project I've been working on, um, I'm thinking about adding a social login so that you can log in with Slack. Um, and so I want to, um, there isn't a, a Slack login uh, built into Pegasus, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add like a login with Google and then I'm just going to tweak it a little bit to, to make it work with Slack. Um, but um, so how do we uh, deal with these configuration changes? Um, and so the answer is, is the process is basically the exact same as upgrading. Uh, so rather than going from an older Pegasus version to a newer Pegasus version, we're just going from the same version to itself, but, but with a different configuration, which will generate a slightly different code base for us. Um, so I'm just gonna walk through that in this uh, screencast. I'm gonna do it live, so we'll see how it goes. So the first thing I did there um, a while back is I enabled the login with Google. I'm just gonna save my project. Um, and then I'm gonna download the new code base for that. Um, I'm gonna pull up these upgrade docs while I uh, have them here so that, um, so that you can uh, follow along uh, in your own app. And I'm gonna use this uh, branches method that, um, that I mentioned here. Um, and so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, check out the first commit of the repo, um, which I'll just figure out how to do there. Um, make that a little bigger. And so, uh, yeah, okay, so git check out main and git log reverse. Okay, so this is the first commit here where I had the clean uh, Pegasus dump. And then I'll create a, um, I guess I'll just check that out. CO is just an alias. Oh, I'll just check that out. Um, and then I'll check it out to a branch. So let's just see. Okay, yeah. So I get CMB Pegasus. So now I have this clean Pegasus branch. Uh, which I will push up to GitHub. Um, and so that branch, this branch now has sort of like the root, uh, sorry, the clean version of Pegasus from my initial download before I changed the settings. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, upgrade this code. So I updated the project, I downloaded the code base, um, and now I will go extract it, uh, which is here, and I'll go in here, um, and I'll just copy that. Uh, okay. And um, I'm going to copy the git folder from my original project, which is here. So that gets to my current project, which is here. Okay. Uh, cool. And then now I'll just look at these, this change set here. Um, so Pegasus generated a new secret key. It added some docs about Google authentication and it's, yeah, the config has changed and it's just added a little bit of uh, configuration around this Google uh, login piece. Um, so that all looks good. And I'll just commit that with, um, Uh, enable Google login, and I'll push this up to the peg. Oh, yeah, that should work. I'll push this up to the Pegasus branch as well. Um, 
And now I'm basically done with this uh, temporary download directory I have. Now that's all in Git. Um, so I can go back to my project source code um, and uh, I can check out Pegasus branch. I can pull it, pull down those changes that I just pushed upstream. Um, you can do this locally too. You could sort of like, you can connect a remote Git repository with folders if you don't want to go back and forth to GitHub, but, um, but it's pretty easy. And then uh, I will go back to the main branch. Um, I, I'll often do my upgrades on a, on a separate branch just to kind of um, have a pull request record of that that, that happened. Um, but so, uh, and actually now that I think about it, let's, I mean, let's see what happens if we do this on, uh, on GitHub. I wonder if I can just create a pull request here because that would simplify this workflow a little bit. Yeah. So this is cool. We can actually just enable, um, we can actually just create a pull request directly on GitHub. I'm going to update the documentation to suggest this. Um, and right, so, um, so this pull request has been generated. There's one conflict, um, which we can even try to maybe resolve it here. Let's see. Um, so the secret key, uh, oh, and yeah, I just removed it defaults, um, which is something that will probably end up back in Pegasus, but yeah. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, mark as resolved, commit merge. And now we can just quickly scroll through this diff and make sure everything looks good. We are enabling, and this is basically all the same settings that we were just looking at. So I'll just scroll through. We've got our new social accounts pages and buttons and um, so forth. So that all looks good. Uh, I will not bother reviewing that. I'll just go ahead and merge it. Um, I'm not going to bother waiting for CI since uh, hopefully it'll pass. And that's basically it. So now if I pull the main branch down, um, fingers crossed. And let's see. And if we go to the sign up page, we will now see this Google button. Um, yeah, so that is enabling and uh, or changing your Pegasus build config, um, kind of doing an in-place upgrade. Hopefully that was helpful. You can do the same process with a actual Pegasus release as well. Uh, it's, it's the exact same thing. So yeah.